Okay, today I'm gonna share how to estimate the thrust penetration depths using a small software called uh, Frost 1D. This is a, a one dimensional uh, thermodynamic analysis software. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate two examples. Okay, first one is first to set up the soil profile. Here you can see I have two soil layers. The first layer is clay, second layer is sand. Clay layer is one meter thick, and the sand layer is from one meter to 10 meters, so that's nine meter uh, thick. And the properties for clay use a fine grain soil with a unit weight of 20 and a water content of 20%. For sand, use the coarse grain soil with a unit weight of 20 and a water content of 10. Uh, note here, the unit weight is a total unit weight. So, and then the second step is to set up the initial condition. Here, I use a initial condition of a two degree at the surface and a two degree at the bottom. It's a, which means at the start, at the start, the whole soil body is air, from up to bottom is all two degrees before we apply any. Uh, temperature change before changes temperature. So under the third, the third step is set up the uh, boundary conditions. Uh, I'm going to use the temperature tab of a boundary condition. I'm using freezing index of 1,200 degree days and uh, n factor of one and uh, the calculation time is for 120 days you can check the temperature okay so it's a see it the boundary condition for this setup means you know i keep basically keep a minus 10 degrees for 120 days a run of the analysis. So, okay, so that's the result. Frost penetration depth at the end of the calculation is about 2.2, 2.3 meter. So, and then let's take a look at the, how the uh, freezing front uh, or thawing uh, front uh, develop during this period of time. Okay, from start, you know, the great, the, uh, this is zero, this is, the, this line represents the zero temperature, zero degree temperature. So with the time, it gradually goes deeper and deeper. And then at the end of the calculation, it reached about 2.2 or 2.3 meters, something like that. So, and, uh, yeah, so that's all the calculations for, for estimating the frost penetration depths using freezing index. Uh, next, I'm going to show another file, which is uh, using a more complicated uh, uh, boundary condition. This time, I'm going to This time I'm gonna use the uh, different uh, boundary condition, but the soil profile is similar. From zero to two is clay, from two meter to 10 meter is sand. And uh, the initial condition, I use the five degree, five degrees um, throughout the soil body 
and then using temperature of uh, piecewise the straight line temperature. Okay, this is uh, how the uh, boundary condition was set up. So at the time zero, it's minus 15 degree. Time zero, minus 15, and then at the 30 days, it's minus 20. At 60 days, it's minus 10. At uh, 90 days, it's a minus five. So go through this change of temperature with time. It's a, a it's the same as over here. So that's the graphical representation of the uh, boundary condition. And this boundary condition is a cyclical for 360 days. Basically, it's close to one year. So, and then the calculation, uh, the total calculation time is 1,080 days, which is uh, roughly it's three years. So, okay. And uh, the, uh, the calculation, we record the re results for every 30 days. And also we monitor the uh, temperature uh, variation at a depth of 2.2 meter. Uh, okay, the total calculation depth is 10 meter, the same over here. Okay, let's uh, run the program, see what the result, what the results we, we get. Okay, so that's the uh, temperature profile. You can see the, the initial is a five degree, five degree all the way. This line, that's uh, at the zero day. At the zero day, five degree, five degree. And with time, the temperature changes. So, um, and we roughly we can say the frost penetration depth that's zero degree. So the frost penetration depth is about 2.2, to 2.3 somewhere. And if we look at the data over here, you can say that's uh, at a time about 500 days, we got uh, around two meter. At uh, the second year, at 800, 870 days, we got the depth of 2.1 meters, close to 2.1 meters. So, yeah, we roughly know the frost penetration depth is about 2.1, 2.2, somewhere like that. And then look at the freezing, a uh, thawing front, how it developed. So that's the first year. During the first year, it, the frost penetrated to a little bit less than two meter. And then uh, because of the impact of initial uh, boundary condition, initial uh, condition, so, so there's a, the first year we may not represent the uh, real frost penetration depth. So the second year, this is second year, this is third year. We can say there's almost no difference between the third year and the uh, second year. So roughly we know at the third year, we got a stabilized, uh, you know, frost penetration depths. Okay, and then we, we take a look at the monitoring depth 2.2, see what's, uh, what's the, variation of the temperature looks like. Okay, so we know at the, so that's the, during the first year, you can say the front, uh, initial at the time zero is a five degree, and then with time change, uh, variation of time, the temperature decrease until to the, uh, minimum about 0 0.5 degrees and after about 200 days temperature goes up 
to a maximum of about 80 degree. And then uh, the temperature goes down at a three, we know at a 300, uh, so the temperature goes down, so we enter the second year. So the frost penetration depth goes a little bit deeper than the first year. And then we enter the third cycle. So at the, during the third cycle, the maximum frost penetration depth is a slightly deeper than the second year. So, but there's a very small difference. And the, we can say, uh, the front, the stabilized frost penetration depth is about 2.2 meter. This is consistent with the, the freezing front development and the uh, temperature profile over here. Okay, that's about 2.2 meter. So that's uh, all about today. It's a very uh, simple. Uh, software that can be used for calculating frost penetration depths.